Hey Capricorn, this is Jamie, Little Red Tarot. This is going to be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. General message, December 2019. It may or may not resonate. doesn't resonate. There are plenty of other YouTubers. Go check them out. Also, if you're subscribed to the Little Red Tarot family, thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you come across is when you're meant to hear it. The energies might resonate differently. They might be who you're dealing with. So even though I'm reading for Capricorn, I might be picking up energies and whoever you're dealing with. Your message, you take it as it resonates. Tarot is here to help, not hinder. You are the captain of your own ship. You have your own free will. If you don't like the outcome, change it. I pre-shuffle off camera. So don't be alarmed. There's not very many shuffles on camera. I stop when the spirits tell me to stop. Everything you need to know is down in the description box below. The astro chart link, private readings, the cards I use, and I accept donations are greatly appreciated. All that is down there in the description box below. I'd like to open up a little prayer. Lord in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus, for the Holy Spirit. I want to thank you for this day and thank you for our blessings. I want to thank you for this gift that you give me. I want to thank you for speaking to me and through me. I want to thank my spirits, my personal spirits, and the spirits of whoever are listening and whatever messages need to get across. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Whatever it is you celebrate. Whatever traditions it is that you have. So, let's go ahead. And in the pre-shuffle, I, as I get messages, I write them down. So let's see what I've got. Um, I got motorcycle mouse. It made me think of some sort of childhood toy. And then I got like the Mickey Mouse show. You know, M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E, Mickey Mouse. Like from like the 50s or the 60s. And then I got Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which is from like the 2000s or something. And then I got Musketeer, or Mouseketeers is actually what I got. Mouseketeers, like the three Mouseketeers, the Tom and Jerry, remember, and Jerry and his cousins, they're like the three Mouseketeers. And then I got um, Childhood Cartoons. So what I, uh, Sharing Traditions, Fantasia, Kids, Grandkids. So for some of you, we're here talking about your grandkids. You are, if you're old enough to appreciate, you know, the original Mickey Mouse clubhouse show you know m-i-c-k-e-y that one we're talking about these are traditions that you shared with your kids and you're, you want to share them with your grandkids if these this is your children maybe one of your children just had a kid and so now you're you want to continue to pass down those traditions or maybe one of your kids get you a childhood toy that just bring back all the flooding memories of traditions i don't know take that how it resonates Sometimes all it is to do is to clarify that this message is for you to listen up. I, I don't know. That's what I get. Okay. So I do a general message. Extra message of clarification. A quick love. A uh, quick career. And then one last final set of messages to wrap it all up. So let's go ahead and start. My Capricorns. Sun, Moon, and Rising. December 2019. Whoa, I don't know what that was. Capricorn. Sun, Moon, and Rising, December 2019. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for speaking to me and through me. What messages do we have for my Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising, December 2019? Okay, we're going to stop right there. Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising, December 2019. What messages do we have for my Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising, December 2019? Capricorn, Sun, so Moon, and Rising, December 2019. My cards seem a little stiff. Maybe y'all have been working out too much, working too hard. Maybe you need to go get a massage, hot tub, something. Stress relief, whatever that might be for you. Okay, let's see. We have the Two of Wands. Whenever I see the Two of Wands, um, there we go, it wouldn't come into focus. Whenever I see the Two of Wands, it always makes me feel like He's holding the world in his hands. He's standing up on this beautiful, like, castle wall, looking over where he's come from, what he's accomplished. Looking over, this is my land, so this is my family, this is my job, this is my community, whatever this is to you. All right, let's get some more cards. Capricorn, Summon and Rising, December 2019. What messages do we have? Okay, we got a couple there. Thank you. All right, we have... The Empress, she is all about intuition, new beginnings, fertility. So maybe you have finally climbed up in your career ladder. 
and you're married and, and all that, now you're looking at possibly having kids. If that's not what you want, take protection. If you can't, then this is just, you finished this, you, you know, became the manager. Now it's time to step up to the next goal. Your new beginnings, you want to become general manager, whatever that is. You have lots of choices in front of you. you you've accomplished this. You are at a point where you've ended one accomplishment, one phase. You've just gotten married. You've just, you've just had a kid. You just got a promotion. You just graduated college. It's the ending of one cycle, the beginning of another. This is the, the next step, the birth. Whether it be literal birth or the birth of an idea, your, your next step, your next endeavor. Just follow your intuition. Because there are lots of options out there. And some of them you don't want. Okay, we, we don't want that one. I don't want that one. No, thank you. So, some of this don't want. So, just be careful when you're making that intuit when you're making that choice. Follow your intuition when you're making that choice. Good for you. Yay, it's time to take the next elevator. Go up to the next floor, please. You've, you've you know, ding, ding, you have completed level two. It is now time to go to level three. Just follow your intuition when you're making those choices because there's lots of options now. So, lots of doors have opened up. Right on. All right. What message do we have for Capricorn? Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. See? Whoa. Okay. They are just... Hello, hello. Make sure none of them flipped over upside down. I mean, they just went crazy. All right. So, we have... Two of Cups. Knight of Swords. Let me scoot these up. The World Card. And the Knight of Wands. Let's get all this for a little bit for you. I don't normally get this many cards, but okay. So, you have all these choices. You follow your intuition, make the right choice. When you make that right choice, here we go. We've got the Lion, Leo, whether it's in your chart, someone you're dealing with, sorry, or it's just about tapping into that strength that you have. And all of us have that, you know, that Lion energy, that Lioness energy in us. So, what, what the, take it where it applies. So, but this is about a partnership, about union. This is the the uh, less arcanic, arcanic sign. The minor arcana. There we go. For the, the lover's card. It's also Gemini. Whenever I see the lover's card. Again, may or may not resonate. May be in your chart. May be who you're dealing with. May mean nothing at all. But this, after you make these choices. You finish this one step. You go on to the next level. And you follow your intuition. And you have choices to make. And you make the right choice. Just be, if you follow your intuition, I mean, you really need to be careful. This is a partnership, a new beginning. Whether that, like I said, would that be in love, a job, maybe decide that you want to rekindle your relationship with your family, whatever. This has got to be your own resonation. Whatever that resonates to you. With the Knight of Swords, when you, this is about a message coming in very quickly, very quickly. When this partnership, this partnership takes off quickly. So it might be a new love. If it's not a job, it's not a promotion, whatever it is. I mean, you decide to take this next step. You finish this one cycle and you're ready to take this next step. And you have all these choices and you make a decision. When you make that decision, when you make that decision based on your intuition, say that three times fast. Don't worry, I'll wait. All right. So when you make that decision based on your intuition, you say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is the partnership that I want. Things start moving quickly. You might have just graduated college. You might have just gotten married. But for somebody, this is a new relationship. So whatever it is you've just finished here, you've taken the next step. You've got, taken that new job. You moved for that new job. Or you finished college so you... Are able to relax now you're willing to focus on dating a little bit more whatever that is for somebody you run into a leo possibly a gemini leo sun gemini rising somewhere in there and it happens quickly and that's good because it's it's your time it's, it's the next cycle this is good for you and then if you decide that you're, you're already married and you want a kid it's gonna happen fast so be prepared Maybe if you're looking to have a kids, maybe this is the fertility options of how you, what you want to do. Maybe you're looking at adoption as an option. 